So I've had a couple videos up regarding Zoom Text Mac, but I never really showed you how the software works. So today we are going to do that. We're going to start by initiating my personal um, enhancements by pressing Option, Command, Delete. You can think of that as an on-off switch. And there are two ways to initiate um, your Zoom Text preferences. And the, one of them is by going all the way up here to the menu bar, hitting this little yellow Z. We've got magnification. We can increase or decrease with a option command up arrow. And you notice in the center of the screen, we've got um, we've got the magnification level. We can go all the way up to 36, which I personally don't use, but you notice even at 36, everything is is nice and, and usable. So there's my levels three. One X menu item. Um, so there's magnification. Disable zoom text is again um, option control delete. Color enhancements. Did I just say option control delete? I'm sorry, option command delete. Um, option command backslash will toggle enhancements. By default, it enables and disables reverse um, inverse colors. So we're going to disable that. And it only toggles with enhancements. Menu item. Option command backslash. And it only enables and disables uh, the two most recent ones you used. Disable enable speech. If I hit command right now, disable speech menu item. Option command three. You notice it talks to me. Now by default, and you're going to see this when we get to the main preferences, by default that op that item is control. But to me, command just feels more natural. So I'm going to go ahead and disable speech. Again, option command three. So if I hit command, nothing happens. If I go ahead and hit option command three again. Disable speech menu item. Option command three. Okay, and if I... Um, and if I hit command over this item here, web reader menu item. Okay, web reader is really awesome. Um, you can read from browser, read it from clipboard, or open the web reader. But we'll get to that in a moment. So the preferences. This is exactly what I wanted to show you. So we're going to get out of that menu. We're going to hit option command return. So now here we are. Um, again, magnification level like I was showing you in the menu bar, except this time. It's on a slider. Uh, one of the things you can't get to the menu from the menu bar is type, window type. And what that means here is full screen or lens. I personally prefer lens. You can adjust the size of the lens. Now I personally, this is this is where I like it, so I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. Um, you can enable gesture zooming which what happens is if I press and hold down command and I scroll you notice I can easily scroll up and down through the various magnification levels I'm going to disable this because I don't really use it but that is an option and you can think of it as scrolling up and down through a web page okay so that's your magnification and enhancements you notice my cursor is blue and that this particular magnified image is a very clear, very bright white, whereas everything else here is sort of off gray kind of thing. I went ahead and did this because it feels, um, the warmth helps. It helps for me, to, it's, it takes the edge off of the, um, of any high, any, of any harsh tones in the color. Again, color scheme normal, but if I hit, um, Option command backslash, white on black. We can go ahead and scroll through options here, invert brightness, revert video, various options you can, exp uh, you can explore at your leisure. I'm not going to adjust these personally because I like it on white on black. And I do sometimes alternate between, but not often. Um, pointer enhancements, color, blue. We can switch to green, red, normal. I personally have it on, I like it on blue. Um, 
size, large, extra large. Personally, I like it on large. Locator type, we can switch either circle or crosshair. So we'll go crosshair. You notice how we get this big old crosshair looking thing. Um, we can also display indicator. We can switch it over. So if I collect, uh, select uh, when pressing shift, or I press shift, there's your locator, release shift, it's gone. Um, and I just completely, I just completely disable this because I personally, I don't like it. I find it very annoying. Uh, cursor scheme. This is for text entry. Blue wedge, green circle, or red frame. I personally like it on blue wedge. Let me show you an example of what that's like. If we go over here, we have a blank text edit document, so I can say, hello world, this is a test of typing with Zoom text for Mac. You notice the cursor remains here in the center. Originally, when I was trying this out for the first time, I had it on green circle. We go over here, we have ourselves a nice green circle, but you notice it's kind of hard to see unless I switch over my enhancements. Um, but I remember this circle being considerably thicker like I said, I just like the wedge better. It's easier to see in, in all kinds of color schemes, not just certain ones. The problem with green is that sometimes it can be low contrast. But you can, again, like I said, you can go ahead and adjust. So we can have focus scheme. What does that do? We switch that on to red frame. And it was up here, red frame over enhancements. I keep this turned off. I would like to turn it on, but there's a bug in Zoom Text that... Um, makes it really annoying. What happens is, see, the benefit of having the red frame, if I move the magnification away, I can still notice that, okay, there's something that's um, that's highlighted over here. So if I move the arrow down, you notice that red frame moves, and the cursor, since it's um, following that, it tells me, you know, what that is. But again, I have this turned, I have the red frame turned off for a very specific reason. And that is, in Safari, if I type in a web address and it gives me this list of suggestions like it usually does, the red frame highlights that list of suggestions. The problem is, when I go into the web page, that red frame that highlighted the list of suggestions doesn't readjust itself. And it is a bug that AI Score is aware of, and they are trying to fix. But for the moment, I just keep this turned off. So enhancements, speech, enable speech, um, we can adjust our voice, we can adjust the rate and volume of the voice, which is completely separate from voiceover, for those of you who are voiceover users. Focus echo, we can have it, um, speech. we can have it have the focus echo, so if I down arrow, tracking, mouse, tracking, speech. And we go up here to the menu bar. Zoom text. Preferences. Check for updates. Open Zoom text news. Help. Open accessibility privacy preferences. Quit Zoom text. Okay. So you get the idea. Speech. So I am going to turn off Focus Echo. The only time I would want to use Focus Echo is if I decided to ever switch it over to full screen magnification, turn off um, the full screen, because I can. So, because if I if I switch this off, I can see that I've got a window in front of me, and I can see that there's an icon of some sort, but I can't tell what it is. So that's where the magnification comes in. But I can, um, if I wanted to, I could try turning off the magnification and using strictly um, enhancements alone. But to be honest, I don't do that because given the screen size of the Macintosh, which is a 21 and a half, and my peripheral vision, I can see myself getting lost very quickly. Uh, that's the other one of the other reasons I use the lens. So again, that's focus echo, mouse echo, which you've seen throughout this video. When pressing command, if I press command over this, this um, group of text here, the focus echo feature is currently still in development. 
AI Square will continue to improve this feature in future updates. You can send your feedback to ctmac at AISquare.com. So that's um, that speech. We go to tracking. Mouse pointer, text cursor. We already saw an example of that. Menus, we saw an example of that. Controls, same thing. Windows. Um, we can also keep the following items always centered. Mouse pointer, text cursor, and controls. So if I switch that off, you notice that I can move this around. However, if I switch it back on, it keeps everything centered. I like it. I like the fact that it keeps everything centered because I don't have to wander around so much. So mouse. So let's actually let me let me show you something. I'm going to switch off the mouse pointer centering. Let's go to um, let's go to mouse. Mouse enhancements. Um, bring pointer into view when it is moved. Bring pointer over the active control. Um, which if we click that, go up here to the menu bar by arrow. You notice the arrows moving. So get out of that. So we're going to turn this off. Okay. Now, the reason I turned off the centering of the cursor is because I wanted to show you something. Pointer constraint. Hold down the shift key. Okay, you notice that I can only move it horizontally or vertically, straight or straight up and down. Or hold the control key to stay within the active window. So you get the idea. Personally, um, I don't use the pointer constraint, and I do like, so if we go back to tracking, I'm going to re-enable the centering because I really I like that a lot. Um, mouse, again, we noticed all the enhancements here with the mouse. And to review our keyboard commands, up arrow, down arrow to mag to adjust magnification. Backslash to turn on and off. Um, turn on and off any additional screen enhancements for the um, for color inversion and whatnot. So I can go ahead and disable and enable speech again. Command Option Three. Hold shift key to move only for Um. Keep in mind that these are just this is just a sampling. You should be able to get you by. So we go back over to um, the web browser. Again, I can hit Command to take a look at this one piece of text here. AI Square offers a range of screen magnification and screen reading software products to fit anyone's needs. Or if I want to read the whole page, and what's going to happen is all this extra gobbledygook. If I press Command Option G, skip to main content, contrast, show the high contrast version, show the standard version, text size, learn how to change text size, AI squared, we've got accessibility. So you get the idea. Um, that basically reads the entire web page. You notice here that everything is selected. You also notice that my magnification is reduced to zero. Um, Personally, what I've gotten into the habit of doing is completely disabling magnification before opening the web reader. You just saw what happened if I didn't. So I'm going to deselect everything. If I don't want to listen to all the extraneous information, again, I'm going to disable magnification, which you don't have to, but you just saw what happens if you don't. Um, excuse me. So to get just the information I want, Option Command R. Retreat making accessibility simple. Having trouble seeing your computer? AI Square is here to help. For over 20 years, we've been helping people use their computers with greater comfort and ease. We offer a range of screen map. Left and right to navigate by sentence. Whether you are visually impaired or squint at your computer, we offer a ra AI Square is here to. Down arrow for paragraph. Our products, news, and the document. Our products, AI Square is here to help. For over 20 years, AI Square is here to. So you get the idea. You can also. Perform the same commands by utilizing these buttons up here. You can also restart from the beginning. Making accessibility simple. Having play and pause. 
you can go into you can again read from clipboard settings text again this is independent of voiceover it's also independent of the rest of the program it's also in other words it's independent of zoom text so your um i'm sorry this is your text size um so you can adjust your text size and see here font size line spacing I'm going to keep it where I like it for myself. Colors, you can highlight background, adjust background, text, sentence, word. Currently, I have it on set, set on custom. Here's, here's what I wanted to talk about before. So speech, select your voice. Personally, I like Alex. Speed and volume. Again, the web reader's speech preferences are independent of Zoom text's speech preferences, and Zoom text's speech preferences are independent of voiceovers speech preferences. And if you ever want to listen to a sample, we've got some text here. You can adjust that. So, hello world, speak sample. Hello world. Okay, so that's basically how that works. So I'm gonna hit Command W to close that window. Text. And again, we have that little issue that I told you about before with the magnification, so I'm gonna turn that off. Command W to close out the web reader. And again, if you disable if you disable magnification before going into the web reader, you won't have this problem. So I'm trying to think if I remember anything. This is my third time doing this video. Um, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Um, you can go to AI Squared's website to take a look at the uh, software for yourself. But if you are interested, I highly recommend downloading a free trial. It's a 30-day free trial, full access to the software, so you can try it for yourself before you buy. In fact, that's what I did when it first came out, and I decided, you know what, this is definitely worth it for me. Again, you'll have to assess your own needs. But I would say at the very least, download the 30-day trial, give it a try. I'll show you how to do that right now, actually. So AI squared, we go to products and Zoom Text Mac. And what you would do is you would say download free trial and go from there. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.